What's what's wrong? Maybe some. Yeah, that could be long. Well, here we are, Joey. It's your last day on the farm. I hope you've had fun. I still have the impulse. I can't wait to tell my friends at school about all these things. Hey! When are you going to tell us about that spe special surprise you've been working on? And why has Joey been the only one working on it with you? Well, my God has given Joey some special gifts that I've been blessed to have Joey to share those gifts with me so that I can get this project finished. Do I have any special gifts, Grandpa? Of course you do, Ruby. God gives each of us special gifts. God has given you the gift of gentleness. That's why the animals are so calm around you. How about me, Grandpa? Micah, God has given you the gift of strength. You always work so hard around here. I don't know how Granny and I would manage without your help. What about Joey, Grandpa? What is her special gift? Now, Ruby, if I was to tell you about her special gift, it might spoil the surprise. Why don't you take Joey over to meet Promise and then send her out to me so we can finish our project. After everything that happened, Joseph ended up right where he needed to be so that he could save his family from starving. Yes, and how do you think all of that happened? God knew from the very beginning what was going to happen in Joseph's life, and God provided everything Joseph needed along the way. What about when Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery? God provided Joseph the courage and strength he needed. In fact, God provided Joseph with everything he needed for every situ situation he found himself in. I'm so glad to know that God, promise, God promises to always take care of us. Me too. Speaking of promises, you promised that we would find out what you and Joey have been working on. I did promise that, didn't I? Yes, Grandpa, you did. You well, I plan on keeping my promise. But I can't tell you just yet. Why not? Do you want to tell them, Joey? Sure, Grandpa, and I have been working on a surprise that will take us somewhere tomorrow. Take us. Take us somewhere tomorrow. Some, take us somewhere. What does that mean? It's a surprise. When my parents get here tomorrow, they will show the surprise to everybody. Oh, I don't want to wait that long. Have patience, Micah. I promise it will be worth the wait. Speaking of promises, I know that Granny promised us some ice cream. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go out to the kitchen and have some. Yay! Hello, everybody. Hello. I hope you've all enjoyed spending the week on my farm. It's been a week of learning that no matter what happens in our lives, God is always faithful. God is always faithful. Oh look, here come my grandchildren. Children have been telling me the 
that there is a special surprise for all of us. There sure is. We're just waiting for Joey's parents to get here. Mom, Dad. I missed you, but boy, have I had fun. We've missed you too, darling. It's been so quiet at home. What did you do this week? I got to learn all about Grandpa and Grandma's animals. I even got to feed them. That sounds like fun. It was. Then at night, Grandpa read us the, sto the story of Joseph. Did you know that his brothers were so jealous of him that they sold him into slavery? Yes, I did. But did you see how that was just the beginning of an amazing life God had planned for Joseph? His life was amazing. Joseph ended up being the second most important man in Egypt. Pharaoh put him in charge of everything. And because Joseph, Joseph was so important, he was able to save his family from starving. When food became scarce. Joseph could never have imagined the incredible plan God had for his life. And Joseph trusted God. He trusted that God would take care of him no matter what. So what else did you do this week? What do you think, Joey? You think it's time to share a surprise with everyone? Yes, yes, yes please, 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 please. Joey and I have been working all week on something special. I noticed that God gave Joey the special gift of working with her hands on mechanical things. I had this old wagon that needed a lot of work done on it. Work that I couldn't do by myself. When I heard that Joey enjoyed taking things apart and seeing how they worked, I just knew she could help me with that wagon. It was fun. I got to take the wheels off and everything. It was just like taking the bikes apart. I hope you helped Grandpa put it back together. <laughs> oh, she did. She helped me replace the wheels and get all the parts oiled. We even gave it a new paint job. Now, it's ready. Ready for what, Grandpa? A hayride, of course. How does that sound? Yay! Yeah, let's, let's go! go. Okay, let's go. Y'all head on out behind the barn and, and get in the wagon. I'll be there in a minute. I just want to say goodbye to our visitors. You know, isn't it nice to know that no matter how difficult or scary this world gets, God always takes care of His children. God would like to welcome you to become His child also. If any of you would like to know how you can be saved and discover the special plan that God has has for you, for your life, then we would love to talk to you. Be sure and see one of us at the close of, the, of our program, and we'll be happy to share Jesus with you. Goodbye. Jesus is awesome. Jesus is awesome. Jesus is the best. Jesus is the best. Jesus is better than. All the rest. Jesus is back.